Previously on Corpse Party. Hey, dude, I think it's your turn. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, my ears burn! More suffering. The girl in the red dress, huh? I think I may have seen her. Her ghost, anyway. When I was with Seiko, in one of the dark classrooms, she was crouched down on the ground and staring right at us. I saw her too, in the shadows when Yuka and I were walking through the hall earlier. It's like she's keeping an eye on us. We also found an old newspaper article in the nurse's office about the heavenly host kidnapping and murder case. There were photos of the four victims, and she was one of them. There is no doubt in my mind, that ghost girl we've both seen is definitely Sachiko. But how is that possible? According to what we just saw, Sachiko wasn't killed. She survived. And if that's the case, shouldn't she have grown up into a proper adult by now? She'd have to look older than us, at the very least. Staying behind in a place like this, in child form? With the other victims? Just doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? Yeah, that part bothers me too. I'm guessing that shortly after the incident, through some unrelated accident or something, Sachiko lost her life as well. If we can somehow meet up with her spirit, maybe we can learn more about what happened. More than what was reported, at the very least. If it's the key to getting everybody out of here safely, I'll take my chances with this school's curse. Or whatever the hell it is. Once we find Yuka, what say we look for Sachiko as well? Okay. Though I am worried. I haven't heard Yuka's voice at all since before you found me. Yeah, we need to find some means of getting back to the other building. <sighs> what the hell? This one feels completely different from any of the others. Oh shit. Oh god, it's a big one. This school can't possibly- uh. Naomi! Are you alright? Hang on to me. Okay. Don't let go. I won't. Damn it. Just keeps going. Naomi. Ah, it's a ceiling beam. Satoshi. He's bleeding. Satoshi, Satoshi, speak to me. Are you okay? Probably not. No, Satoshi. No, please don't kill me, don't kill me, please, no! Oh, wait, right. Shinozaki. Shinozaki, snap out of it. Ugh. Shinozaki, are you alright? Huh. Yeah, that must have been really traumatic, dude. But it's okay. Everything's okay. Okay? Come on, Shinazaki. Everything's fine. You're safe. What the... That's what happened to me. What... Was it like? What did you see? I saw... The true identity of the gulp, the murderer. What? That's why the damn doll wasn't enough. Repentance from the killer. We had the wrong person. Wait, are you telling me you were actually there? Like, you saw the scene of the murderers? That's exactly what I'm saying. I was seeing everything through Yuki's eyes. I was bound and then I was killed. God damn it, you little piece of... It's not her fault. I'm the one who wanted to know. The murderer was a little girl. You remember the newspaper article Suzumoto showed us? Her photo was in it. Along with her name. It's the girl in the red dress. Sachiko Shinazaki. She was listed as one of the victims. But believe me, she's no victim. What? That can't be right. That's impossible. 
for a little girl to do something like that. How could she abduct other children her own age, and keep them prisoner no less? I could believe it if it were that monster with the hammer. He seems fully capable of kidnapping and tying up little kids any day of the week. He was just an accomplice when these children were killed by Suchiko. The man with the hammer was in the corner of the room, quaking in fear. You can't be serious. I have no idea why you would have helped Suchiko in the first place, though. We have to tell the others. Mochita and Miss Yui. Dude, it's been a long time since I haven't heard about Miss Yui. Yeah, I guess. Even Naho wasn't able to find out the whole truth. And she's been in here longer than any of us. If we don't hurry up and tell them, they'll be dead before they ever find out. If Sachiko catches them unaware, it could all be over. We have to go back. Yuki, please. Take us back into the closed space. We'll find a way to exercise you. And all the other spirits trapped in Heavenly Hosts, I swear. I wouldn't recommend that, dude. As a result of your interference, as well as the interference of your friends, those spaces are in a state of critical flux right now. If I were to take you back, even if I kept this clarity of mind the whole time, I doubt I'd ever be able to bring you home again. Exclamation mark. But... If we don't go back, everyone's going to die. Kishinuma, let's go. Please? For our friends. Come on. For Mochita. <sighs> Alright, we'll go back. Fine. Damn it, we'll go back. After all, I don't have a lot of real friends. I'd hate to lose the ones I do. Oh, huh? well, that's just sweet of you, dude. You got this. What's that? What are you mumbling about? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all, Baka. Let's go. I was hoping I could go see Miki just once more. But I guess I'll just have to put that aside. Who the hell's Miki? Who's Miki? Or am I just dumb? Hey, the floor is different and intense music. Damn. Entry into the Empire of Japan's secret intelligence space is strictly forbidden. Expulsion to all trespassers. Can I go behind the door? I think no, no, okay. Hell yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. I really am. But I wish you the best of luck. This is something I think Satoshi and the others may need. If you find them, please give it to them for me. Marble statue, huh? It's like a demon. Uh, why don't you give it to them yourself? Because she's following them around the school right now. I can't get close enough. There's another statue like it though. A red one. If you find it, make sure he gets that one too. Understood. The three of us are prepared for the challenges ahead. Now that our tongues have been restored. But due to our momentary awakening, the balance of these closed spaces has begun to collapse. Be very, very careful. Also, remember, in order for Sachika to feel remorse, you must appeal to her humanity. You must purify her soul. It's the only way, dude. My mind has already come under attack. So the next time you see me, run. She's gone. Yeah, for now. Let's just focus on finding Satoshi, Miss Yui, and the others. Though aside from Miss Yui, the only other people we've seen so far are Suzumoto and Morishige. And we explored pretty much everywhere. You sure the others are even here? Well, think about it, remember? The closed spaces. That first ghost we saw told us all about them when we got here with Miss Yui. Basically, anyone we can't find is probably in another version of this school. Which is why we never ran into them. Dots. Is there something you failed to understand? No, no, I, uh, yeah. But, wait a minute. If that's the case, how the hell are we supposed to tell them about the murderer? I mean, if we can't even find them. You could just told us how. Gosh, she said the closed spaces have started breaking down. That might mean, should, mean that the connections between the dimensions are changing too. So come on, let's try searching for them again. Miss Yui and everyone else. 
Okay, got it. For real? When I say I got it, I got it. Although, if it's not those child spirits summoning hordes of innocent people to the school and trapping them here until they die, then you kind of have to ask yourself, who is responsible? You know? Hmm. Beats me, my dude. Also, you don't have anything, any blood on you anymore. That's kind of weird. Moving out. Yuka. Maybe I can hide them under here. I can feel the air on my... What? Feels so weird. But I can't wear them wet like that. It's gr... Oh, you took off your, your panties. Oh. Alright. Whoa! It's been nothing but earthquakes since we got here. I hope this school doesn't fall apart. Oh, Yuga. You didn't piss in the goddamn bucket. Big brother! Big brother! <sighs> oh, shit. I think she's in this fucking... Well, not universe, this world. Hey, does anything look different to you? Very. This isn't the same school we were in before. It's a totally different heavenly host. Yeah. And it's creepy factors through the roof. The chill in the air. And the Stop skipping, goddammit! We need to find the others and get the hell out of here. Yeah. I hate that, it's skipping. Kagamiyano. What's up here, though? I wanna see. Hey, Shinazaki. Um... What is it? Are you... hurt? You've got a whole lot of blood on your... Uh, pastir... That was a real thing! But she didn't have any... Oh, well, now it's a real thing, I guess. Huh? What, what, are you serious? You scrape your butt on a piece of broken wood or something? Looks kind of pain... Shut the hell up already! Jeez! Just look the other way for a minute! What? God, does that boy have no sense of shame? Damn it all! What do I do about this? I don't have my gym bag here, so a change of clothes is out of the question. I really don't want to meet up with Machito or the others looking like this, though. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it! I can't take this anymore! Dude, don't split up. What's that? Oh my god, it's a student ID from Kisaragi Academy. How can you tell from so far away? Someone we know must be nearby. I wonder whose it is. Ah, it's Nakashima's. No mistaking it. It's even still got the scrap of paper from the Sachiko charm. Naomi. Shinazaki, what the hell is taking you so long? Hmm? Is that someone's student ID? It's Nakashima's. She must be somewhere nearby. Nakashima, are you there? If you are, please answer me. Nakashima! Oh, guess she's not that nearby. Let's look for her. She can't be far. Big brother! No! Oh. Huh. Ah, that's hot! What? what? You mean that's your si- Yuka. Honestly, who bites their slipping on the shoulder? Are we still playing corpse party? And why are you blowing air on me? He, he, he. <laughs> Whoosh! Whoosh! <laughs> Big brother, it's time for dinner. Oh, is it that late already? I'll be right down, thanks. But next time, how about telling me, rather than doing whatever it is you just did? No can do. <laughs> Mom, big brother's on his way. <laughs> what a goofball. She left her door open again, too. You... Gah. Guess that was... 
Just a dream. Oh, oh my head is throbbing. It's pitch black too. What happened? I remember there was a big earthquake. Hmm? What's this? There's something in my hand. It's really tender. Like some kind of meat? What the hell am I... Meat? What the hell are you talking about? The fuck? How many times... Let go of the chest, Satoshi! Ugh. Uh, I, uh. Satoshi? Naomi, I'm so sorry. Please don't misunderstand, I didn't mean it. Satoshi, is your head okay? What? A beam fell on your head during the quake, and it started bleeding. Your face is really red. I guess it must hurt. Thank you for shielding me. <laughs> the thing, nothing of it. And I'm fine. I'm not bleeding anymore, at least. <laughs> You're not? Whoa! Wow, this is incredible. What is this place? Where are we? Why are the two teenagers over there fondling with each other? Deep breaths, Takuchi. Stay calm. Keep a steady hand on the, and don't stop filming. Ignore those guys over there. I want every last detail captured on video. Don't miss even a single speck on the wall. Yes, sir. You know, I'll give this guy a cool little, well, eh, skater dude, I guess. Amazing. I can't believe it worked. This is sure to get me the recognition I deserve. With this footage, with this film, the occult genre will be completely reborn. All right, let's get started. I think it's about time I begin pinning our third Strange But True article. Experiencing this place in the flesh should prove a sufficient enough muse to get the words flowing. They're in the school building, aren't they? This is that tape you put in earlier, right? Yeah. The camera didn't seem to work before, though. No power, no batteries. Looks like research footage taken by whoever it was that brought it here. Man! This place is unbelievable. Everywhere you look, there's something written down. I don't want to die? Wow! Crazy stuff, dude! Just be careful. We don't have a lot of data on this place yet. We have no idea what might happen here. It's best not to touch anything. <laughs> You're no fun. With such deliciously... Dark scenery all around us, I have to at least take in our surroundings, you, you know? <laughs> I suppose you do. Oh boy, do I ever. I just can't get enough. You think it was the right thing to do, though? Coming here without her? Without now? She ain't gonna be too pleased. She'll be all like, Why are you guys always doing fun stuff without me? <laughs> that sounds about right. But this is different from our previous excursions. I can't justify putting her in danger like this. Very true. Bet she's sure not gonna see it that way. Is that the real deal? It looks that way. A dead body. An actual dead body. This is bad. Really, really bad. We, we gotta get out of here. Look at her uniform. It's from our era. It's new. I'm sure this place counts for a whole bunch of missing children reports. And here they are, just running away. Uh, what kind of hell have we stumbled into? You're right. We're in danger here. Glad we're in agreement. Now, you said you know a way out, right? A way out? Ah, yes. The way out. I for Oh, what? What's wrong? You cut me off, dude. I heard a voice. A, a child's voice. Children's voices. Seriously? Listen. Listen. 
Can't you hear them? Where the hell are they coming from? Calm down. I'm listening, but I don't hear anything. How many voices are there? Are they boys? Girls? <laughs> Mr. Kibiki. Mr. Kibiki. There was something there. Right there. Just a few seconds ago. Where? There. Right over there. Ah. Hey, you. Wait. Stop. Oh, shit, more than much. What? Are you all right? Oof. I'm really sorry. I stepped on something in the camera. Is it all right? Seems to be. <laughs> Everyone's going bad shit crazy in here, man. Oh, huh? I'm going. Taguchi, where are you going? Damn it. The tape's almost full. Where do you put our blinks? Guess that's the end. I wonder what this way out might be. Just what it sounds like, I imagine. Unfortunately, the recording was a bit lacking in details. The reporter was looking for blank tapes, though. So there's probably a follow-up. After we rejoin with Yuka, let's make finding that a priority. Yeah, sounds like a plan to me. Alright, for now? Let's just see about getting to that second building. Hmm. Guess we leave the camera. It's pretty much stuck to the TV. Not exactly ideal, since it means we'll have to come back here to watch the next tape. What? What's going on? The school is completely changed. Guess that wasn't just an earthquake after all. Yeah. It's like we were feeling the building expand and contract around us again. Either way, we need to get moving. Come on! Okay. Wait, hold up a second, Satoshi. Hmm? You've got splinters all over your back. Well, time to move forward, I guess. A dead body, Shiho Hasegawa. Isn't that... Satoshi! It's Satoshi in Nakashima! Yeah. I guess the closed spaces really have started to break down. Come on. Right behind you. Satoshi! Nagashima! Yo, Shiki! Shinozaki, you're alright. Class rep, oh thank god. I was hoping we'd run into you. Me too. I was beginning to wonder what I'd do without you guys. Yo, Shiki! <laughs> Pretty sorry lot we've drawn, huh? No. God, poor Suzumoto. And Shinohara. Still can't believe it. God damn it. She was just with us a few hours ago. Smiling and laughing. Why? Why? Why is this happening to us? At any rate, let's make sure we don't lose anyone else. In fact, consider it an order from your class rep. Shinazaki. We're going to find Miss Shishido, Murashigi, and Yuga. I don't know about Murashigi, dude. I think that guy's... Nah, he's lost his mind. And get the hell out of here together. Yeah, you bet we are. Remember, the murderer is Sachiko. If you run into her, be very careful. Based on what we've been told by Naho and Yuki, if we can get Sachiko to express remorse for her actions, then the three victims she killed will be appeased. The field around this school building will be lifted. And we should, theoretically, be able to get out of here and go home. Sachiko, the girl in the red dress. How do we get her to express remorse, though? That is the question. Well, what about you two? What can you tell us about this way out you mentioned? Not a lot, unfortunately. The reporter talked about some specific means of getting home. But he was cut off before he could explain it. He was looking for a blank tape, though, when it ended, so there's probably a continuation somewhere. Look for a label that says, Kibiki Research Data. Wait, did you say Kibiki? Yes, that's right. If we can figure out what sort of method he had in mind for getting out of here, we won't have to get mixed up with ghosts and curses anymore. 
It seems like it'd be a lot simpler then. How did you put it? Appeasing the spirits? The problem with that is, it doesn't really fix anything. Escaping by putting the spirits to rest. That's the method Naho explained to me. And I don't think it's the same thing as keeping his way out. I'm guessing Naho wants us to put a stop to this once and for all. To keep this curse from spreading any further. If we leave things the way they are, and just escape with our lives like you're suggesting, then countless innocent children are going to get pulled in here for God knows how many years to come, and they're all going to die horribly. That may be true, but we're just high school students. How can you possibly expect us to set things right? There has to be a way to make Sachiko atone for her sins. There just has to be, and we're going to look for it. God! How can you just decide right off the bat that this plan has no chance of succeeding? Is it because I'm the one who suggested it? What? No, of course not. Come on. We have to work together on this. How about the two of us look for more info on Kibiki's way out? And continue searching for Yuka, of course. While you two search for Miss Yui. Sounds good. Once everyone's been found, we'll meet back here. Satoshi, got something for you. Don't know what it is, but that girl ghost we made friends with said to give it to you. Come on, let's go. Class rep, take care, okay? Nakashima, hmm? Don't get too close to Machida. Oh, you're jealous, ain't you? Hey, Shinazaki. Hey, what is it? Don't think you look discouraged enough. Try scowling some more. There we go. Nakashima's student ID and the paper doll scrap. I forgot to give them back. We can do that later. There's no hurry. Really, things are starting to look up. This is definitely not the time to mope. I let my personal feelings cloud my judgment and spoke harshly toward a classmate for no reason. And I'm the class representative for God's sake. Not here you aren't. Here? You're playing old Yumi Shinazaki, and you were just being honest. I probably would have been just as curt with her if I were in your shoes. Seriously? Uh, maybe? That actually makes me feel a little better. Thanks. Don't mention it. Really, though, even if we did track down Tsuchiko, I don't have the slightest idea how we could possibly elicit any remorse from her. Let's just try to find Miss Yui. And then even if we have to use that way out. Let's get the hell out of here. All of us together. You bet. You are now following multiple parties. You may only directly control one party at a time, however. If you wish to switch from one party to other, you may do so at will by stepping one of the program... Pentagrams? Pentagrams? What? That's crazy, dog. There's a pentagram. Yeah.